Hello everyone and welcome back to High Ridge Farm with me, the Walrus. We are desperately attempting to finish off our interesting attempt to try to get all of the Mr. Key crops um, here in High Ridge Farm. Of course, whilst we do that, I'm going to try and do some general money making because of course we've spanked 2 million whatever the heck these Stardew Valley currency called. I mean, I know it's G, but is it like, you know, Final Fantasy? Is it Gil or is it Groats? Is it Grandmas? I mean, that'd be a horrifying thing. That'd be 10 Grandmas, please. Oof, no. No, I'm going to stop there before I start getting too silly, which to be fair is unusual for me because I am an absolute Nana at the best of times. Anyway, so I'm going to try and sort out this mess of stuff, as I've got lots of fruit that uh, I could probably take in to have um, turned into jam and preserves and, and stuff. I think that will probably be a sensible plan. Um, hopefully it'll go alright. Because shockingly enough, I'd really like to make sure that I have enough um, money coming in. Um, as much as physically possible. So of course my third shed is my little crop growing um, not quite greenhouse two electric boogaloo but you know it's it's a thing it, it's nice and all but hey it, it'll do it'll do and that's kind of the big thing in that one isn't it it's it will do um, but anyway um, Obviously, we want to do a little bit more as far as we physically can, to be fair. Um, just getting stuff organized and ready is kind of the big the big issue I've got at the moment is um, just wanting to make sure that I can actively prepare all of the resources that I need. And I also want to make sure that I've got access to everything. And yeah, that's kind of it, really. Just making sure I've got all of the things. But oh well. One of the things that I do know I need to sort out, as well as um, the general gist of getting stuff done in the farm, is I do want to sort out my uh, layout of the farm and other such things that we have here. Of course, there are a few things that I'd like to organize, particularly within the house itself. And as I mentioned before in a previous video, I'm probably going to not um, bother recording Monday in this week's, uh, this upcoming week. Um, and I'm just going to use that as an opportunity to um, make sure that the house is laid out in a way that I would like. You know, it's kind of important stuff. Um, yeah. But that, that's that's a thing. Um, once we can sort that out, then I'll be a lot more happy, I guess. Um, now, one of the other things that I do need to sort out uh, as well is obviously I've got this huge swath of land that is being used for the key crops, which perfectly sensible, legitimate business venture, methinks. Um... We'll ship these key fruit out quickly enough. So I'm using the five um, uh, seed makers that I've got here to try and speed up this process. I kind of want to know. I think I. I was wondering if I actually had any more of the damn things. I don't think I do, which is a kind of is really a bit of a shame. I, I was hoping that I had more, but alas. Um, so we'll we'll try and figure that out at least. Um, if we can, great. Um, hopefully I can get more of them. Um, I don't think they're particularly difficult to make. I, I honestly don't know. It's not something I've really thought about. I mean, I don't think that's quite reasonable. But it's not really something that's high on your mind is how easy is it to make a seed maker <laughs> when you're um, generally bopping about in Stargy Valley. But anyway, now uh, I'm going to quickly get some of this. 
Oh, I need my coffee. I mean, when don't I, to be fair? It's a permanent state of being. And uh, let's just quickly see what else can I cook. Yep, there's more Triple Shock Espresso, which is going to be nice and helpful, because that's another speed boosty item. And the thing is, I've got a couple of speed boosty foods going, which are giving me high speed all day, all the time. Which, you know, it's exactly what I need. I want to be able to move around and actually get stuff done. Perfectly legitimate, right? Anyway. So, one of the things that I'm having a look for at the moment is... Anything else that I need? Um, okay, well... Let's, uh, let's at least try and figure this one out. Okay, so, again, after the key beans, that's the main, main resource that I need here. Um, I think that's the, the, the odd thing is, of course, that's really the main thing that I can use at this point, uh, is, is the key gems and, key gems, sorry, the key, uh, crops. Yeah, I'd like to get more, um, but what I can get? Don't know. So, yeah. We'll have to see. Um, hopefully something useful can come of this. I mean, I mean yes, I'm going to get a large quantity of the key gems. That's that's nice. I'm, I'm excited by this as a general concept. But at the same time, I'm like, well, okay, well, I've got them all now. Well, what am I going to do with them? I mean, what else can I do with it? That's the question, isn't it? main thing is definitely going to be purchasing Pierre's extra missing stock list thing. Because, yeah, that's going to be kind of the main handy thing for me to purchase this time around. Because, yeah, I, I, I want to be able to get the extra um, crops at all times of the year. And I feel that that's quite an important and viably sensible upgrade um, for myself. But, now oh well. Now, of course, I'm going to grab all this wine because, yes, we like wine. And uh, once we've grabbed the wine, then I can slam that into one of these kegs here. So look at that. Lovely. It's the joys of having the fairy um, powder. Uh, is it the fairy powder? What, what's it called? A fairy dust. There we go. Because, of course, it means that I can actually high speed the money making and that's again I think a sensible thing for me to do at this point because high speed money making is kind of what I want at all times just make as much as physically possible perfectly sensible perfectly reasonable but yeah that's the thing okay now one of the things that I do worry about though is I've still not obtained that blasted upgrade that I really need and want being the uh, that not really upgrade but I want to find a snake vertebrae I've just not been able to get one I do keep trying to keep this area cleared so I mean hey if someone has got a tip or trick for it because Heck, this is annoying me. I, I just want to get this done, like, yesterday. <laughs> but, you know, I'll deal with it. I'll deal with it, because it's just going to be annoying, but it needs to work. It needs to happen. It's just a thing. So, yeah. Righty, so, we'll sort this... Uh... Well, we're going to get a bunch of mussels. I mean, I could turn that into fertilizer. I could just ship them out. It's just a thing, isn't it? Very annoying. Uh, let me think. Yeah. We are going to have to try and figure this one out. There's got to be a sneaky, sneaky way of doing this. I, I just really do hope there is a sneaky way around it because, yeah, I, I want to get this done.
and um, once I get it, then I can have the ostrich egg, and that's uh, that's really what I'm after here. Is I want the ostrich egg. I think that's a, well, no, the ostrich incubator because I've got the egg. I just can't do anything with it at the moment, which kind of sucks. But that's just unfortunately how this is going. As I've I've got no no control over it, which you know makes me quite sad. Ah well. The sooner the rather than later, though. Hopefully, we can sort this out. Um, and once we do, then great. Yeah, we're, we're pretty much golden. Because um, that is, again, what I want to do. I do just want to make sure that I have all of the things that will allow me to actually get... Um, what's it called? I want to make sure that I can actually get... Uh, the ostrich egg because that's something that I've not got before. I think that's quite reasonable, isn't it? I mean, I, I feel that that is a, a reasonable thing to want. Hopefully I'm correct on that sort of statement. But for the time being, I'm just going to see if I can get myself uh, a few more of these cinder shards. Um, they're not too difficult to find in here, obviously, because I'm finding them very easily. But I do just need to make sure I've got them. Um, now, let's have a think. Is there anything else that I can do here? Really? Um, and effectively? I think that's the question, isn't it? Is there anything else that I need to um, do to function any, Im well, any, any improvements that we can get here? Hmm. Well, again, some more stone. It's good to replenish it because I did use up a lot of it. Um, burning through all the stone to make the ladders, uh, uh, the staircases even, whatever the word you want to use for them. Again, useful stuff. Just meh. It's done, though. And that, that's the important thing is I've got it. And yeah. Just what I needed to do, I guess. C'est la vie. Um... So, fighting my way through all these, I do need to go into the desert. And that's something that's not intimidating me in any way, shape, or form. But it's, mm, it's something I don't really want to have to do. But it's not the end of the world. But I'm going to do it. I'm going to have to go into the desert because I need to kill Pepperexes. And I do still need to kill off the other... Um, The other critters. I think that's really it, isn't it? It's I need to work my way through all these horrible creatures out and about. And I need to be able to just do what I can. Um, as, as stupid as it'll sound, it's there's got to be some way of me being able to get more of these uh, cinder shards. Because, again, I need them for resource reasons. I want them because then I can use them in the transformation of uh, an improvement of my items. Um, and, honestly, I kind of want them for the, the shoes. That's the big thing that I really want them for, is those lovely shoes. Um, I think that's, again, quite reasonable um, to want. Don't you? Ah. Uh, oh well. I'll figure it out eventually. I mean, that's got to be how this is going to work out, isn't it? Oh uh, well. Ah oh, well. Say lovey. Like I say, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Now. What other things can we do here? That's... Um... The big question, isn't it? Well, we're late on Friday night. We've got lots of rocks. And that's really about it. <laughs> Thankfully, though, it doesn't matter so much about the lateness. Because, of course, with the return scepter, I can just go straight home with no issues. And that makes me very happy. Because, yeah. It just makes my life so much easier. And uh, that's kind of the way I'd rather it was. Um, 
because not having to faff is great. Okay, so we're gonna just fling a few things into uh, the, the bin. Um, the, okay, so we've got enough for this, the shoes. I was just selling the resources that I don't really care about or need, per se. Which, is, to honestly, there's probably quite a few of them that I just don't care about or need. Um, yeah. Psh, honestly, I just don't need them. Uh, right, so we've got the shoes. And that's kind of the big thing we've got. We, I've been wanting them for ages because they are the best shoes that I... Well... They may not be the very best shoes, I don't know. They're the best shoes that I've been easily able to access, I think is the best way of putting it. Um, there may be better upgrades or other shoes out there, so we will see. But that's, you know, a thing. Okay, so uh, what else can we do here? Do I need to do anything else whilst I'm around about? Well, there's not much else that I can do with the farm today. What with it being midnight, which again, perfectly normal, perfectly reasonable. Um, so I think that's going to be it for the time being for, you know, Friday. Just double check if there's anything else that needs harvesting. I mean, it's a perfectly sensible, reasonable thing to sort out. But I do have more key gems, and I think if I just quickly create a couple more areas of just an extension of another 16 like this, that'll probably do me alright. Okay, so let's just slap those in. Surely I've got a couple of other ones that I can easily put in. I must do. Okay, so what we got the weather forecast? Breeze and fun is fine, whatever. I mean, it's nice that I don't have to worry about it. Um, really? Like, not anymore. Like, previously, obviously, I was really stressed about it being wet. Because I needed it to rain, thanks to the joys that is. Um... With the damn legend, which who now is residing within a tank all on its own, because that's where it deserves to stay. With no friends, no shinies. I mean, yeah, okay, I'm going to probably decorate the tank a little bit, but, you know. I'm frustrated with it. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Ah, oh, well. I'm going to have a quick drink of coffee, play with the child, throw it in the air, because is that what... I mean, I guess the internet has told me that that's what dads do. I literally have no idea. I, as far as I'm aware, I have no children. Um, which is a kind of an awful thing to have to say. That, like, I don't think I've got any. Yeah, that, that, that's literally as far as I can go with it. But, anyway, so you can see I've got all these large quantities of key gems. Uh, key crop there, which is just going to get watered nice and quick. Splash. Done. Um, we've got a few more here. Like, I must be able to finish it off. I need 363, uh, 500, so that's 137 to go. I think I've got 137 planted, at least. I'm going to try and save a couple. Um, I know that they disappear. They rot away. But what I'm thinking, I might try and turn one into a t-shirt, because that's a thing, isn't it? Um, if memory serves. But, you know, I, I think that's something that I should potentially look at doing, is trying to make some interesting um, clothing items. Because there's going to be a few interesting clothing items that I can make. So wh why not? Give it a go. Could be exciting. Psst, who knows? Uh, but yeah, that's, that's going to be a thing. Um, I'm going to try and make some interesting clothing items. Um, again... It's a thing. It's just going to be how it goes. Um, but what else can we do here? Well, I don't think I need any more seeds, really. Not anymore now. Uh, because, yeah, we, we've, we've got them. We're pretty much golden. 
Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll be fine. We don't need to worry too much um, about this anymore. Um, but all the same, we're just going to be... Uh, maybe I'll take a couple more, just in case. It's the, I think I've got enough. And I know I'm being very silly. Essentially, over producing because I'm not sure I think I've got enough I don't want to be wrong and I think that's the worst frustrating part of it is that I just don't want to be wrong um, when it comes to well all of this I, I want to be correct I want to be you know right within my um, my thought process on it but that's literally just how it's going to go, isn't it? Uh, oh. Okay, so I'm going to grab all of this gubbins out of here because that's just what's there and um, see what comes out of it, really. Okay, so I'm going to fling all those in there. Fling those in there. Yeah, I don't care about that. Right, the rest of things, though, I do vaguely care about. Um, and those are going to get um, redistributed, reorganized, you know, that sort of thing. I'm just going to make sure it's all well and done. Because, again, that's kind of a big thing. I want to make sure that everything's uh, nicely organized. Um. I think that's vaguely reasonable, don't you? Right, anyway, let's teleport down further in, in part of the, uh, the farm. Let's have a look. Uh, oh, goodness, oh, look at all that pickled wheat. I know it's not a high-value product, but again, I'm going to pickle all of these, um, the row, because I've got it. And I might as well use it in if it's, you know, a, a being useful. Um... How much I get out of it? It's a different question, really. But yeah, that's that's a thing. Uh, let's see. Hopefully, something vaguely useful comes out of this. Um, goodness, I don't know really. I think that's the question, isn't it? Um. Okay, come on. Uh. No idea, really. Well, th th I think that's the problem with this, is that I've got the capability of pickling things, but the question is what's actually viably worth bothering um, to do so with. I think that that's kind of the question, isn't it? I'm not saying entirely stumped, but a little bit stumped. Like, I'd like to be sure of myself, which annoyingly, I'm not feeling very sure of myself right now which uh, doesn't make me uh, too chuffed uh, as silly as it'll sound, it's um, kind of annoying I don't really know ah well it's, it's a thing okay, right so, uh, okay, 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 um, well, okay, so we're midday on a Saturday, what could we do? Um, well, we're going to roll on into town at least for a bit. I've got a couple of ideas, um, one of which is, ooh. What have we got on this the notice board? Help wanted to catch some fish. That's not too difficult. I can do that. I can definitely do that. It's fine. Uh, what else have we got? Uh, let's, let's buy a bunch of potato. Because potatoes are great. I love potatoes. They're literally the best vegetable in the world ever. I mean, you can survive on a diet of potato. It's They are genuinely that fantastic. So... It's, one of those well-known, well-respected <laughs> crops. So, that's at least how that's going to go. Let's see. Um, 
Well. Okay. Uh, right, so everything's... I've got everything now, so that's good. Um, now I've got the golden mask. Uh, star shards. Is that, is that not... Uh, I haven't completed the museum collection. What have I not donated to the museum? Okay, I'm going to have to have a check and look through my inventory of stuff, aren't I? I need to double check. I have a sneaking suspicion I know what it is. I think it's the prismatic shard. Because I don't remember actually uh, actively donating it to the museum. That's the problem. We'll see, though. All right. Let's open up some chests and double check. Well, I mean, it's the black chest. That's the one which has the resources in. Yeah, I've definitely... No, they've, they've been donated. Um... Yeah, I mean, I don't think you need to... Yeah, I was right. It, of course it was the prismatic shard. Always the bleeding way. Right, well, that's a thing. So that needs to be sorted. And that needs to be organised as well. So, let's ride on down. Let's donate that to the museum. And let's get that done. Because then the museum is complete. And I don't honestly know what that gives you. Um, must do something, I guess. I mean, other than the achievement of actually having achieved it, but... Who knows? Uh, has to be something. Ah, oh, well. Right. Oh, wow, dried starfish, just what I always wanted. <laughs> right. Um... Well, let's put that there. Okay, so that's that's everything. Oh, it gives you a star drop. Duh. Oh man, do I feel stupid for not even considering that you'd get a star drop. Goodness gracious. Well, that's my energy increase. That's nice. Wonderful stuff. Yep. The library is indeed one of Pelican Town's greatest things. And so, I'm going to sound a little bit cynical here, but there was a library when I was growing up. It was in, uh, like, an old schoolhouse um, in, in the town where I grew up, and it was lovely. It was beautiful. Obviously, I've not visited it since I was a young, young man. Like, I goodness, I the last time I visited it personally was when I was 12. And... I fear that it's probably horribly underfunded and not appreciated in the way that it probably really should be. You know, I think that's something I need to do. Maybe I should find out the um, how difficult would it be to get... I mean, don't think it's going to be difficult. But obtaining a, uh, a library card and, yeah, get a library card from my local library. I think that's probably a, a, a nice, sensible, prudent idea. And, you know, yeah, why not? Let, let's be sensible. Let's support the local libraries that, you know, my tax money pays for. <laughs> um, I couldn't tell you, like, with any certainty whether that's actually the case. I mean, I'm assuming in my... Well, I, I'd hope that's where my tax money goes. <laughs> um, rather than um, something stupid. Right, okay. So I still need pepperexes, three pepperexes, and then a bunch of serpents. And the serpents, I mean, they're not going to be super difficult to kill. It's just finding them. And the only way to find them is, of course, in the desert. You know what? I might buy the galaxy hammer and the galaxy dagger just so I've got them. I mean, yeah, I'm going to need some of this... The, um, the star soul things, whatever they're called, so I can upgrade them. Not impossible to do, really. Um, still a thing, just needs to be done. Well, let's see what we can do with that one then. Again, shouldn't be too difficult. So, okay, yeah, the galaxy sword's like. Definitely my best, my because I've improved it. But I am curious um, as to what can I do to make it better. 
Because there's going to have to be something that I can do. Right? I've got some... I've got some ideas. <laughs> Genuinely have some plans. Well, how effective they're going to be is a very different question, though. But... Whilst we're here, we're trying to kill bugs. Um, because, again, bugs are there. They need to die. And I need the bug meat so I can make... Um, again, I need to make some of the, the useful and potent stuff. Um, and actually... So I've actually got... Um, I need to make that useful um, magic bait. Because if I can catch the fish that I haven't got, that I think it's the Dorado is the one that I don't have. But once I've got it, golden. And and that's good. I'll be a happy bunny. Well, happy walrus, but you know, all the same. I'll be happy. And that's, uh, that's the big thing is actually being able to have all of the things that I want and need. But... That uh, all the same is um, is a thing. Uh, okay, so let's cut down this tree. Let's kill these soot sprite stand-ins because honestly, that really is what they are. They are the, the soot sprite stand-ins, and I don't really care too much. Um, uh, is there anything else that we can do with this? Well, that's a a funny question though, isn't it? There's got to be something else I can uh, do for general murdering. As ridiculous as that is, but let's head on down. Uh, sometimes I do wonder to myself, like, what, why am I doing things? And there is method to the madness, I promise. Um, because the, the method to the madness in this one is that I will be able to obtain a greater quantity of goods um, by killing all of these soot sprites um, it will allow me to get um, a, a greater quantity of resources because I'll be able to get um, what's it called uh, the burglar's ring which again I need to meld with a uh, iridium band because of course I've got a bunch of those and again once those are melded then fantastic that's just what we need um but yeah that's that's the plan at least once that's done though we're golden um I feel that that's a, a vaguely sensible plan anyway Radioactive ore as well, because I need the radioactive ore to actually um, make the uh, blasted um, magic bait. Uh, it's that and the bug meat uh, to make it. But once we've made it, again, glorious. We're dull and we're done, because, again, that's kind of what we need to do. Okay, so we're going to murder that. We're going to get some more key beans. Uh, I mean, I'm, that's going to be a constant while we're roaming, isn't it? Oh my goodness gracious me, look at all of those. Well, that's an exciting sight to see, because I still need to murderize those, so... Fantastic. We'll, we'll just flatten them. Um, okay, so that's good. Uh, okay. Well, they weren't, they're not too hard to kill, which is, you know, a nice, at least an advantage of this is, unlike some enemies, they're not, like, absurdly hard to kill, which is a bit of a godsend. I, I will freely admit it's a bit of a godsend. Makes my life a lot easier. Uh, okay. So this floor is full of bugs. Again, though, the bug meat is, is important and a valuable, viable resource. So that's good. Um, and once we kill them off, great. We don't have to worry too much. Let's see. Let's flatten this one. Let's apologize if I still sound a bit sniffly and snuffly. 
Still a little bit under the weather, unfortunately. I'm not feeling super grand. It's been a a tough week this week um, because we're currently suffering uh, a storm in the UK. Storm Kieran, Kieran. It's um, clearly an Irish name uh, or Welsh or something. It's you know the the ancient languages more so of the the uh, the the British Isles. And uh, yeah, it's um, a bit rough, to be kind of blunt. Um, the weather's awful. Uh, I even got sent home from work. There was genuinely concern about people getting home, which I wasn't too worried about, partly because I live near my office, so I didn't have to worry. But it's a thing, and uh, I think it's quite sensible that, you know, and, and I, I appreciate the fact that my bosses were sensible and wants to make sure that everybody was safe and all that. Which actually, having a boss that actually gives a damn, that's a nice change for uh, somebody of my age, I, I feel. that um, there, there have been a lot of times where I've heard friends t talking about how awful their bosses are. So, that's a thing. But before we sidetrack too hard there, we, of course, have lots of horrible things to work our way through here. So we've got some more radioactive ore. Lovely. And once we've got the radioactive ore on the go, then, well, we're going to try and meld it with the um, other stuff that we need. And you know what? I'm tempted just to get out of here because those skulls are going to annoy me. We're nearly the end of the day. Let's just organize what we've got in the chests and be done with it at least because that's the most sensible, prudent option, me feels. Okay. Right. I guess that's the question, isn't it? What next? I mean, that's always a constant question, though, isn't it? What's next? What's the next fun plan? What could we do next? Um... Because, yeah, we can do stuff. It's just figuring out what we can and do need to do. Um, okay, so we've got a few other small quandaries, I think is probably the best way of putting it. A couple of ideas sort of ticking away. Right. Uh, okay, so we've, we've got some ideas. Now... Plant some potatoes because potatoes are a, they're a good useful crop generally in Stargy because of course there's a chance that you'll get more than one um, whenever you harvest them, which is nice. And the other kind of interesting advantage they have is that they're good pickled as well as I mean yes you can turn them into potato juice, which Pam does request. And is not vodka, because it's not potato juice. It's, you know, you still have to do some other stuff to it, i.e. distilling it. And unfortunately, we don't really have a distillery. Although that would be an interesting mod, making gin. Because gin is one of those things um, yeah. I know it sounds very silly, but like a gin was, it became one of those like things, like reasonably, not recently per se, but it's definitely one of those like things that I think about as as a as a food stuff, um, like kinding to hearing about, like um, not to say food stuff. Sorry, that's definitely the wrong word for it. Um, but I, I assume you kind of gather what I mean by it. Like, gin became like a big, big thing in the last, like, few years, didn't it? I am, I'm, I'm not talking complete nonsense, I hope. Um, because, yeah, it definitely did. Um, but anyway gin it's a thing and I, I wouldn't mind making some like interesting fruity gins because that's a thing you can do but yeah like interesting fruity gin i mean it's a thing we could, we could give it a try and I, I wouldn't mind actually doing that um but like i say i'm, I'm obviously i'm rambly um rambling like a madman as usual 
painfully aware that that is going to be how my brain's going to tick over, unfortunately. Um, just because that's just what I do. Ah, the joys of ADD. It's it's a fun old time, believe me. Um, honestly, I do wish I didn't have it sometimes. Because, um, yeah. It's a thing. But, yeah. All the same. Um, the joys, really, is that we've got... Um, Lots of useful resources that are coming out of um, my farm, and hopefully we will have just continuing useful gubbins. That's kind of what we're after, isn't it? Um, we just want a constant flow of useful crops uh, that we can use to make a profit. And that's what we're going to do. I um, mean, here on Sunday, we've got all of this lovely, all of this garlic, which isn't going to get harvested by the Junimo because they don't work in the rain. Which is a little disappointing that my fun little servanty, well, it's not really servants, are they? They're, my fun little friends just don't like the rain. Which is a shame because I like the rain. But that's not just because I'm British, I promise. Um, uh, <clears throat> yeah. But that is something that I have just, like, can definitely say. Is that I quite like the rain. But at the same time, I don't like going out in it. I'm very fond of sitting indoors and listening to the rain. And hearing it, the patter against the, the glass is just... It's a nice experience. It's a nice sound. Maybe I'm weird like that. But I also do very much enjoy thunderstorms. Um, and I think that's a, a reasonably s r normal thing for people to sort of like suggest. Is, you know, enjoying thunderstorms. Um, and how lovely they are. <laughs> um, I, I do genuinely find thunderstorms to be a fascinating and lovely thing to hear. And we've had some really nice ones recently. Obviously, with the storm and um, like the, the weird tail end of this hurricane business, we've seen some really interesting, um, kind of horrific, horrifically beautiful, but you know, vaguely horrific things. Um, because yeah, there's there's been some absolutely phenomenal um, thunderstorms and uh, glorious shows of fantastic um, not pyrotechnics but electrical displays like we had some purple lightning the other night that was glorious again as you can see I'm getting like sidetracked by something that makes absolutely no sense or or even vaguely any semblance of related to what we're actually talking about here go, go me I'm so powerful I really am <laughs> but yeah that, that's how this is going. Um, but yeah. I've got lots of fun ideas. Now I'm going to harvest all of this cauliflower. Now cauliflower is going to be something that I am... Based on its quality... It'll be... I'll be flinging it into um, pickle or to just sell straight away. And I think that's going to be a constant general need on that one because I want uh, a decent amount I, I, again I think that's quite reasonable that that's what I want um, and kind of what I need um, more than anything I just need a decent decent quantity of just about everything really um, okay so let's see what other things that can we do here well we've got lots and lots of cauliflower that's now um, up for not really reseeding, but we've got other things that we can plant in their stead. Um, which, again, not the end of the world. Um, because uh, cauliflower is not going to be a good one to replant because it's not going to be ready in time. We've only got another seven days left in the season. So it is going to be a little bit of a, okay, what can we physically plant in time to get a decent reward, per se, of what we've actually got available to us 
And I, I think that's kind of an interesting sort of point is what, what can we feasibly plant? What can we get as a an outgoing that we've got um, really? And uh, how are we going to do this? Okay. Well, I think one of the things I do need to look at is potentially the what have I got with when it comes to the animals as well. Because the animals are, I mean, they're not in a bad place, in a bad situation. It's just, have I got them in uh, an optimal layout? Is it really what we want? Is it what works best? Is it, we've got to figure it out. Um, I, th I think that's kind of the big question is, what are we going to do uh, and how are we going to organize it? Not the not a difficult thing to sort of like really reasonably think about, but um, I still also need to get more coal because I want to make more of those preserve jars because I still don't have enough of them. And oh my goodness gracious me, look at all that wine. Oh, this is going to be a glorious day. I don't have very many star fruit. Oh, fiddlesticks. Okay. Well, this is going to be an interesting one. If I don't have very much in the way of like, um, what are they called? Uh, why did I forget the word? I don't have much in the way of star fruit, which you know I use as my predominant alcohol production. Um, what am I going to use in its stead? So this could be uh, vaguely intriguing. How how is this going to go? I'm going to have to give it a try. Well, we'll give it a see. Um, okay, so we've used up all of those. Oh, I've got wheat. Looks like we're making a bunch of beer. Um, I mean, it's going to slightly screw up my... The rate, because I like having it mostly all being ready at the same day. I mean, it's not too much of a problem. I'm sure I can figure out a way around it. But, yeah, it's... Um, it's going to be a thing. That's going to be a thing, isn't it? Not the end of the world. Oh, well. Right. Um, so, how are we going to sort this out? Well, there's definitely a plan, vaguely, um, of, of what I'm actually going to do here. So, again, more key stuff again. I mean, again, kind of... A given, really, isn't it? That you're going to get just loads of key stuff. Just constantly. Um, so the animals obviously don't like the rain either. I can't blame them too much. And the same with the Junum. I can't really blame them. It's just me being a, a butt. For want of a better phrase. I'm just being a butt. Okay, so we've got a new dino. And... I'm going to name it after my most recently passed guinea pig, Nutmeg. Because Nutmeg was my baby. He was my boy. And, I mean, you know, he lived six and a half years and he was very much my lovely baby. And I loved him to bits. Hence why I, I have done a... There was a, a video where I put a few, vi like, some pictures of him afterwards. And same thing I did with Bumble as well when they when he passed. It's a it's a painful thing when you lose a pet, especially when you've had them for a long time. And for me, as somebody who's never kept anything bigger than a guinea pig, um, like I, at the same time though, I've I've known friends' dogs for a long, long time. At the same time, I'm kind of upset that I know that I'm going to see in the next few years. If, I mean, maybe not even that. My best friend's dog's going to pass away. She's very much of old age, going blind, going deaf. Still very much loved, which I think is the most important thing, is that she's still shown the love uh, that she deserves. But it'll be a, a terrible shame when she does pass, because it's gonna happen. It's just gonna suck. But, you know, that's just how... That's suitably not, like... What I want to go down. I don't want to go down the dark uh, pet death uh, route. Because that's not fun. That's not why we're here. We're here to talk about fun things like video games. And all the lovely things that we actually enjoy. 
And yeah, that's that's a big thing. So anyway, silliness and like weirdity out of the out of the way there. Now we've got um, what with it being the lovely day that is Sunday. Uh, there's got to be some useful stuff that we can do. So we're going to grab all this fruit out of here. So it's just actual fruit off the trees, not star fruit or ancient fruit. Look at all these ancient fruit berries, though. Look, look, I've got a lot of these ancient fruit berry bushes, so I'm quite pleased with myself on that one. Now, I know I could replace the um, fertilizer in there with a the one that maintains uh, the moisture, the retaining um, fertilizer. And... <sighs> It has its advantages. Because, yes, I could then get access to four more plots. That's it, though. It's just four more. It's not like it's a silly amount. Um, so, I'm not as fussed. I think it's probably the best way of putting it. I'm not too worried about it. Maybe. Eventually. But for now, I'll live. I don't care. <laughs> Uh, I spent a long time sort of umming and ahhing, like, out loud. Um, there was a, there, I remember a video not that long ago where I was just rambling. Where, to be fair, that's 99% of the time when I'm playing. Um, but, yeah, there was one where I was definitely rambling a lot about that tough decision of, is it viable? Is it sensible? Is it something? So, thankfully, though, no, I came to the idea. I was like, no, 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 we don't need to worry about that. That's just silly. Don't worry about it. And, um, yeah, that's kind of really how my logic goes is is it genuinely worth me bothering and that's kind of I feel the best way of thinking about it is is it genuinely worth bothering about if not don't worry about it doesn't matter because meh I mean yeah meh is a very technical term there obviously now I'm trying to catch some um, let's see if I can get some salmon while I'm here um, I think you can catch on Ginger Island. Um, it's probably a kind of a prudent thing to try to catch. And, uh, man, I don't think you can get snake vertebrae from this. But you never know. It could happen. Uh, no, I know that, that, I know that isn't going to happen. It's still very, very, very frustrating. I definitely want to be, you know... I just want to have the... I just want the vertebrae. Eh. <laughs> Makes me sad. Yeah, I think that's it. Just, I just need that damn snake vertebrae because I really want to get the damn thing done. It, it makes me so... Not aggravated, but it makes me quite sad that I still haven't got it. It's like, come on, please. Just appear in my inventory. That's, that's all, I, all you need to do. Just be in my inventory. So I can I can be done and happy with it. Ah, well. It's just how this goes, isn't it? Um, Come on. Let's cast out again. I'm going to have to catch something. Whether it's any useful, different question. But, you know, that's that's what we're going to do. Going to keep trying. Because that's all we can do at this point. Just keep trying. But the fish themselves, again, they're not the me. They're like the the be all and end all. They're going to be useful. They're just going to get sold, mostly. But you know, it's it's what we're going to do. We're just going to get stuff done. Um. So I don't really know on this one. It's a it's a tough choice. We've got to figure out something, I guess. Ah well. Um, let's see. Is there anything else that we can sort out at this point? Uh, I don't think there's anything else here on the island, at least, that needs dealing with. Um, ugh. well, there's a, an annoying, uh, location of bubbles there. Because I don't think I can actually cast out to that angle, so... A bit of a moot point on that one. Also, I can never remember if the... The southern beach on the farm side of the island, so what, the the western part of the island, whether that's actually 
considered the same as the this part of the island, the south part of the island. So I can never remember it because I mean, obviously, I've only really done stuff since um, this playthrough, really, on Ginger Island. I mean, I, I I knew that it existed. I'd been to the island when I played, like, on my other accounts and stuff. My accounts, sorry, my other, like, playthroughs. But, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. But, oh, well. Uh, um, come on. Well, back to the farmhouse at least, and get everything sorted. Lots and lots of random fish. We're just going to fling those in the sail bin because, again, don't care. Because um, why would I? I mean, it, it's silly as it'll sound, it's like meh. It's not really the end of the world either way. So we've got it. We've got things. That's what matters. Right, we're going to grab this wild horseradish because, yes, wild horseradish is good. We like wild horseradish. It's nice. And actually, horseradish in general, I just like it. As a, th a consumable food, I am fond of it. Okay, let's slice down these and see if there's anything else that we can get through. Um, well, there's nothing much here, is there? Sadly. Uh, come on. Okay, so we've got lots of fishing away in here now. I think... Like, I need a void salmon, I think. I need... I, I definitely need something weird. Um, I'm, I'm thinking of the... Uh, what is it called? I'm thinking of like the, the sea foam pudding um, and like the those sorts of things, like the more unusual food requirement, like the, the 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 things that you need to get like the weird and wonderful gubbins. There's definitely a few of like I need to get something strange. Can't remember what it is though, because there's like the void salmon and there's the what are the other weird fish? Midnight carp. I think that's, I mean, wouldn't really say it's that weird, but it's more on, it's weirder. As as things go, it's on the weirder side. Okay, so let's see. What can I actually make with it? Can I actually do what I want to do here? I'm pretty sure it was. Um, sea foam pudding. Oh, it's not what I thought. Okay, that's annoying. Huh. Right, well, I'm going to have to think about that one. Um, I'm assuming I can catch it at night. Um, and do I have one? No. Of course I don't. That's frustrating. That would have been really easy if I had one already there. That, that would have been great. But no, no, we can't have that happen. That would be ridiculous. Uh, drat. Okay, fine. Well, we don't have one um, ready to go then. That's fine. So magic bait is going to be what we're going to do. Um, hmm. Huh. Well, I'm going to use things. That'll be good. I guess. I mean, once I catch the, the fish that I need, that'll be great. Because then I'll have what I need. There's not much else I can say on that one, is there? Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll get it done. We'll get it all done. Uh, okay, so what else can we do here? Well, there's some horrible creatures there. Let's get out of here because that's not where I wanted to be in the mines. Um, hmm. There's got to be a like a sensible way out of this. Isn't there? Okay. Well, I'm going to try and murderize some more of these damn soot sprites. Um, the the stand in the hard mode ones because again they need to die. 
their existence upsets me and um, they need to go away. So what else can we do here? I guess that's the question, isn't it? Um, has to be something we can do. I'm not going to lie. I'm just running around in here just to grab a few things. There's nothing much really down here that I can do. I mean, yes, again, I could get some potential useful stuff. And just murdering all these spiders is fun and all. And I can get key gems occasionally. Which, again, that's nice. I like that. But it's not really the end of the world. Um... Generally speaking, is it? It's it's a thing. Um, <sighs> curses. I, I think that's really what, all I can say. Curses. I've got to figure out a way of doing anything vaguely useful. Okay, so we're getting late now. I think we should head back home. And there's that horrible ghosty who needs to go away. And yeah, we're ten past midnight. We're currently feeling nauseous. It's the health is going down. We really need to be careful. Um, this is the problem with me is I'm very greedy. Okay, let's just get out of here. So, whilst I quickly put my last goodies away, I will certainly take this time to thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed listening to me ramble a little bit today. Again, apologies if you have heard me cough a couple of times. I have tried to remove any times where I have coughed in um, the video. Um, but again, if you do did enjoy it, please do like, share, and subscribe. Um, and I do pay attention to comments that people make. Like, uh, I've downloaded Paleo Pines. I've purchased a copy of it because I'm really excited by it. It looks really good fun. Uh, once I hit my end of season, I may have a quick look at that properly. But... Otherwise, though, um, as I said, thank you very much for tuning in. And hopefully I will catch you all again the next time the walrus plays Stardew Valley.